Hi guys, okay a big project this time, this is going to be in six or seven parts uh, depending on how much I want to stretch it out. What you're looking at here is what we'll call stage one of the whole project and it's an old tyre balancer, a very old one. It doesn't have a motor or anything in it, it was all manual, you used to clamp your wheel on here with the clamps which I didn't bother bringing home, I don't need them. Uh, set up all your um, settings according to the wheel that you have on there so here we have rim diameter rim width and rim offset and you'd set all that up give the wheel a spin and this would bring up all your measurements and show you where you need to place the weights on that rim to balance the wheel this uh, U-Boot device was donated to me by my boss he does have a couple of old um, tyre balancers out in the storeroom. Of course all the new ones are digital modern equipment with motors and they do just about everything for you. All you have to do is put the rim on the machine. We're going to be using parts of it like I said, mainly the shaft and that. And we're going to be mounting this motor here into it along with that speed controller. And that is basically going to give us uh, you know, part one of our system or phase one, step one, whatever you want to call it. There will be some other parts we have to fit but uh, basically that's going to be it. So we're actually just going to use this machine as our base and see if we can make what we need for phase one of the project. Before I go pulling it apart I did find in the machine the power wires let's have the plug cut off and I've stripped these wires back because they were a bit all mangled but uh, we're going to spin the machine around see if we can find some info on what kind of input power it required and see if we can fire this old girl up before we go pulling them apart see if it still works so um, that's what we're going to do next we're going to see if we can find some info on it and fire the old thing up and see if we get smoke or we get lights. Before we go any further though, when I say free energy device, we're talking kilowatts of output energy in the form of electrical, thermal and mechanical. The free part about it comes in that we will not be paying for the fuel or energy required to uh, drive the device as a whole. Um, this whole system will be self-sufficient and like I said the energy the system uh, requires to run on will be free of charge so we'll be producing kilowatts of energy and not having to pay a cent for it so some of you guys are going to be able to do it and some are not due to um, I don't know, living restrictions, all that sort of thing, because it's going to be fairly large and it's probably going to be a little noisy, but we'll quieten it down as much as we can. Alright, let's flip this thing around and uh, have a look at the info tag. Okay, so I'm looking at the uh, back of this thing, um, Snap On Technologies, protected by blah blah blah, and I'd imagine the patents would have ran out by now. Now, the odd thing about it is. Um, 8.5 volt AC power supply is required, 50 to 60 hertz. So um, now I have to go and see if I can find myself one of them in amongst all my goodies. And uh, I would think uh, 9 volts somewhere near that would be good enough. And um, I'll hook it up and we'll uh, see if we get any um, life from the old gill. Okay, um, I have an old DC transformer which I rick the uh, rectifier and caps out of made into an AC transformer and this one goes from 3 to 12 volts that was DC um, and I've got it set on the 9 volt setting jumper clip leads hooked to our tire machine wire so uh, let's switch on and see what happens oh, we got a beep and we have lights <laughs> look at that Okay, so the first button <coughs> is the um, rim diameter, and uh, we set on 17 there, 
actually this thing is still pretty accurate 16 15 and it goes up uh, 15.5, 16, 16.5 so it goes uh, half an inch every step um, and this is the rim width so 7 inch, 8 inch and of course our rim offset which will make uh, 6 inch everything on this is working uh, mode Don't know what it is. Fine. Everything is working. So you put set all that up uh, with, your, with your wheel on here, and you'd give it a spin, and it's coming up with error because, of course, there's no wheel on there. Can't feel any weight on the sensors. But um, <clears throat> other than that, this thing works a treat. Everything on it works. Unbelievable. Almost seems a shame to rip it apart, but uh, it's going to uh, be put to better use than uh, sitting in the back room collecting dust. I did, of course, give it a clean up. You couldn't hardly see the screen from dust before, but uh, we're off to a good start. So um, now I'm going to uh, rip it all apart and start modifying things, fit our um, motor and speed controller to it and um, in the next video we'll come back and have a look at that and we'll go through uh, what we've done but um, <laughs> it's uh, it's quite good to see these old things fired back up and um, see that they still work as they did when they were um, a new product these might also come in handy as well, we'll have to see what they are Alright, thanks for watching the first part of this video. Um, the second part will be this unit complete and phase two. Uh, we'll have a quick look at that as well. Um, and then of course on from there. Um, there's a large part to this system that I'm hoping to pick up tomorrow. And um, if I have that by the weekend, then I'll certainly give you a look at that as well. So uh, this is what we're going to do is um, make a, a free energy device and we're talking kilowatts of energy enough to run your home and um, it's actually a uh, free energy device that works and it's free energy in the way that you don't actually have to pay for the power that is produced by the machine. So um, yeah, a fun project and... Um, Hopefully it'll work out the way we want it to work and do everything we want it to do. Alright, thanks for watching guys.